Hello, this is Sergei Salohin, L3D.com, and uh, I would like to show uh, some small tip about console trans back output. I will upload this script um, on my website so you can freely use it. And let me show what I exactly the problem is here. So sometimes you can give to animators a script, and this script can have potentially kind of problem. For example, here I forgot to check if the model is really exist. So I'm trying to find a model by label name, like uh, try to find a model in the scene. And after that, I didn't check if this model is really exist, like uh, if I put if MDL exists, then change its property. But I forgot to do this. And what actually we have, if I run the script, so um, these operations will be executed when I press um, my button. Um, so I press it, and in my Python console I have the problem which is connected to the arrow for this button. But if my animator just executes the script, they couldn't see what happened. They They see that nothing happened to the scene. They press the button and nothing. So it's a it's a bit complicated to work in such a way because um, they will say the script is not working, we don't know why, you should check, and we can give you a scene. So there is no exact information. You can say that you should open the window Python editor and you will see here the arrow and you can output this arrow to us. But it, it's also not very convenient and um, I find a way just to make um, on each script, in each big script, I find a way to make a small console on the bottom on the bottom of the script here. It's a FB memo component, visual component. So there are two things that I can output here. I can output simple print command by using the string IO and uh, system uh, model. I can output everything that I print with actually the print command, like for example print console output. So um, by default this print command will output to, to my console of the Python editor. But by using these things, when I grab the std out stream and then this stream I convert it into my string and put it as the string list into my FB memo component. So what happened here? Let's see. I connect on click event to my button and run a script one more time. So what happened here? I press the button and now you can see that my print console output is not going here to the Python editor, it goes here into my um, script console, FB memo component. So now this string is here. And about the execution problem about this tra trace back, so I clear the console. I have the same arrow uh, commands here, just uh, when there is no any MDL and I'm trying to change it property of the null object actually. And with these operations I'm going to accept. In in accept I print in uh, my trace back into the std out stream and this stream I also grab it into the my string and add it into the fb memo strings. So and as a final result I have something like this so my Python console is moved into my script console. And everything what I want here I, I can print uh, for user, I can uh, clear the console, I can print some information and they will don't need any Python editor to see what happened there. They just press, press the button and they see the console information here. So for sometimes it's really convenient also uh, almost for animators who are using the script and they are not using the Python editor at all. 
I hope this will be helpful. As I said before, I will upload my script on my website. So, hope this helps. Uh, see you. Bye.